Deja vu. Thank God YouTube exists. Uh, so we don't forget what happened and what the media was talking about climate change in 2017. One of the biggest crises we face, climate change, mm. and a media war over that crisis. Climate deniers, people who believe climate change is not happening in any meaningful way, are sometimes painted in the media as fringe characters, as kooks. So this might shock you. <laughs> Brian still got a job at CNN. Hey, y'all, welcome to Cross Politics. <laughs> Pastor Toby, Chalk Knox, and I'm the what? Water Boy. It is good to be with you on this Monday evening. Why well, you got to start the show like that? You shouldn't have a job. <laughs> Folks, That's our true. upcoming Fight Lap Feast conference is just four months away from happening in Knoxville, Tennessee, October 6th through the 8th. Don't miss Beer and Psalms, our amazing lineup of speakers, which includes George Gilder, Jared Longshore, Pastor Doug Wilson, Dr. Ben Merkel, me, and... <laughs> Chocolate Knox. I'm so mm. happy about this. And mm. Gabe the Water Boy. Mm. We're all going to be yeah. there. But but Knox is going to be doing yeah. what? What's it called? A, a, canceling, a counseling session with Knox. <laughs> <laughs> In front of everybody. We're going to have to have four people no, there. Oh, no. Me. You're talking about like storytelling sure. and building culture. We'll, we'll have a little bit of that, yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> Knox just needs help. And don't miss our awesome vendors meeting new friends. Stuff for the kids, too, like jumpy castles and infant baptisms. Mm. <laughs> Also, did you know you can... I'm just kidding about that part. Um, you can save money by signing up for a club membership. Go to fightlaughfeast.com, yeah. sign up for a club membership, and then register for the conference with that club discount. $100 off. We can't wait to fellowship, sing psalms, and celebrate God's goodness with you in Knoxville, October 6th through the 8th. We said in, in 2020 that this whole... Yeah, we said that pretty oh, yeah. early in the set conversation. Yeah. Condition yeah. us for someone else. Well, well, Project Veritas, one of the few, you know, what can we say, actual journalists out there? Yeah. They're, yeah. they're, they're hitting this with CNN right now. This story comes up, they're going to latch on to it. They've already announced in her office that once the public is will be open to it, we're going to start focusing mainly on climate Um uh, climate, like global warming, and like that's going to be our next, like, um, I don't know, like, well, what's the word? Um, it's our, it's going to be our focus. Like, uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office right? oh. without saying it. That's what it was, right? So, our next thing is going to be for climate change awareness. What does that look like? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I have a feeling it's just going to be like. Constantly showing videos of like decline and ice and outdoor videos, weather warming up and like the effects it's having on the economy and, and really talking about that? head of the network. Like, mm. <laughs> this is, I mean, so this is a little bit. This goes, I don't know when, what year this was done. This, this is not. I this think it was done in the last year, but it was before Zucker had stepped yeah, down. He's going to mention his That's name right. in just a moment. That's but, right. But notice, I mean, what this guy from CNN, like he's what? This is not journalism, right? This, yeah. this, this no. is him saying this is what we are going to train people to do when the people are ready. Right. We are going to tell them now. This is the next thing. Just like we were working on getting Trump out of office without saying it. Yeah. We are going to make climate the issue. The next pandemic. It's the next right. pandemic. You know, we were when we were prepping this clip. Our producer Neil asked, "He's like, what do you what do you have to do to get a guy to say stuff like this?" <laughs> you know, and I thought that was a really yeah. great question because yeah. this guy. So, and Take we him to a bar with a with yeah. a lady. Yeah. Like, uh, we talked about this before. All these dudes that get hit by Project Veritas oh, is God. with a lady. Well, usually yeah. with the lady, and yeah. even the ladies that get hit get hit with a lady too. <laughs> That's probably for different reasons, right? Yeah. But it's you know he's got to be compromised in a couple ways because he thinks that he's got a girl over here that he's going to be able to kick it with later yeah. and stuff. It just tells about how, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's just like, man, that's yeah. not but one of the other things I thought about was if this was a doctor who I came to for help and the doctor is only getting is only allowed to prescribe things by the pharmaceutical industry <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh and because that's who he's in bed with. I'm going to be a very sick patient, and at least yeah. I'm not going to be getting the kind of health care that I need in order no. to actually be able to heal. You know what you need is a. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but but this is exactly what um, the old um, CEO, no, 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 founder of the Weather Channel. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. That's what that's what Brian Seltzer was just getting set up to talk to him about. John Coleman. I've said before here on reliable sources that I don't think there are two equal sides to climate change. 
The scientific consensus is that it's real. The debate is over what to do about it. And the press has to be careful about creating this notion oh. of sides. Oh, they do. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all yeah. because that's exactly what the press is supposed to do. You know, well, he's trying to set it up like he's going to be a journalist. Well, he's already given away that there's only one way to have this conversation. Yeah, sure. yeah. We, we should not yeah. act like it, one side right. is right and one side is wrong. We should just make sure that there's only one side to this. Right. And the only mm-hmm. question that we should be arguing about is how to fix it. Not whether or not it exists, but that's actually not what right. a true journalist does. Right. A journalist is supposed to say, huh, says who? Where are the facts for that? And argue and say, well, this person says these are facts. This doesn't seem to make sense. And this, oh, by the way, this person gets all their funding from this side. Right. This other person, he's just following. That's what a journalist well, is supposed to do and investigate the whole situation. That's what he's going to get called on. I resent you calling me a denier. <laughs> that is a, a word meant to put me down. I'm a yes. skeptic about climate change. And I want to make it darn clear, Mr. Kenny's not a scientist. I am. He's the CEO of the Weather Channel now. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch a lot of cable news. now. Hold on just well, a minute. I'm, I'm not talking. Done. And <laughs> CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a vote. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. There's a whole lot of baloney, and yes, it is. it has become a big political point of the Democratic Party and part of their platform, and I regret it's become political instead of scientific, but the science is on my side. I don't think we're going to come to a conclusion about the topic right here. What I do wonder, oh, I know though, is when not, you see... Because you the... wouldn't allow it to happen on CNN. <laughs> but I'm happy well, that I got on the air. So I got a chance to talk to your, uh, to your viewers. Hello, everybody. What there I do... is no global warming. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, John Coleman. He's the yeah. founder of the Weather Channel. Yeah. yeah. Back and in 2017 is when this conversation was had. That's right. right. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, do you think they would let them this happen now? Uh, no. No, no. It's much more controlled uh, I mean, now. I mean, I mean, this is like, I mean, kind of like back to our conversation with Naomi Wolf last week. Oh, yeah. which, by the way, like, got canceled. Like, like, the, like the, yeah. the, the how much the world has changed. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, I think... That was probably a pretty uncomfortable conversation for CNN to air. Yeah. And I, I agree with you. I I'm, I think it's very unlikely they would ever let that happen again. But isn't the question supposed to be, sir, could you help me? Because it seems like most of the scientists right. that are out there right now are on the other side of the conversation. Well, that's actually what he what ends he does, up saying. Yeah. Yeah. When you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Uh, this, the uh, government puts out about $2.5 billion directly for climate research every no, year. Billion? It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party of position. So they don't have any choice. If you're going to get the money, you've got to support their position. Therefore, 97% of the scientific reports published support global warming. Why? Because those are the ones the government pays for, and that's where the money is. <laughs> it's real simple. But that doesn't mean it's right. That doesn't make it true. That only makes it bought and paid for. The money goes that's in right. circles. This is back in 2017. So we've had ample opportunity, ample opportunity to be yeah. able to explain this for CNN to be able to say, well, hold on a second. John's telling us something's going on. Yeah. Let's go grab some of our all Let's, the money that we have yeah. and our journalists and put them behind and see if this is the truth and bring right. out stories and point this out. But we, that's not what they end up doing. We just saw the clip from uh, who was it? Uh, Brian Seltzer? No, 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 no. The the clip from. Project Veritas. Uh, I, I just lost their name that quick. Yeah. Project Veritas with them saying, hey, we got numbers or we got word from on high to make sure that we push out the climate change right. stuff. That's right. the next pandemic. That's, that, exactly. Yep. And this is so this is the point. 
most of what we have going on is a breakdown of the fourth estate. Right. What's the fourth estate? The fourth estate is what Edmund Burke would call the press. Yeah. So we have um, journalism. Yeah, journalism. Yeah, the press journalism. So we have these four estates. One of them is the clergy. So we got the right. church, right. the clergyman. We have noblest, and then we have the the commoners. And so that's kind of common people. And then we have people that's who like are the nobles. You said that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually probably me because we got clergy right here. You're kind of considered clergy being a deacon too. So I don't know. I'm the, I'm the commoner in the room. But you. But we talked about this. In Edmund Burke's time, they had the um, aristocracy, right. but now the aristocracy would be. I think just all celebrities, basically. I mean, I think those, that's the. the like Kim Kardashian. M- yeah. Sure. Unfor- <laughs> unfortunately, yes. That's right. Yes, I think so. I think, yeah. I think Hollywood, yeah. I think yeah. um, athletes. Yeah. I think, I think um, you know, I mean, when they speak, everybody reports on what they said. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Whenever they tweet, everybody reports on what they said. Right. Aristocracy, um, you typically historically led both with the way they invested in community financially, right. yes, but also they were influential. And, they were in cultural, what we call figures, inf- influencers. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Uh, like, but like Elon Musk. Their opinions, yeah. yep. people, um, they cared about. And part of the common, the commoners or the common group, folks like me. Part of our power was the ability to be able to control the market and where we spent our money at. Yeah. So if we didn't spend our money in a place, it was obvious that we didn't like that, we didn't want that, or we didn't support it. Right. That's kind of broken up now because of the way things are. Our only resource have kind of become Machiavellian that we only right. see power in the political side hmm. or uh, the famous side. So we buy our aristocracy in one hmm. way or another. But the, the breakdown happens when none of these groups, the clergy, the noble, and the commoners have ability to know what each other's going on in, in their circles. Mm-hmm. You, you just don't walk into the common group and say, what's going on here with the commoners? Well, mm-hmm. that's what the press does. Right. The press is the one that investigates. Supposed to report. Supposed to. What's going on with the common people? How are they operating? How are they spending their money? What don't they like? Right. And then the clergy is like, oh, well, they should actually know that. But there's been a breakdown there. Right. And as well as the um, the the nobles say, wait a second, um, we aren't helping the community that we, right. we want to help. Right. Or there's things going on in these other circles that the common folk don't know, yeah. and so we can't trust. So when you lose the fourth estate— We just estate, need an estate sale. Just well, no. <laughs> sell them all. Well, no. Actually, what we need is we need a more noble, virtuous um, journalism. press and yeah. journalism so yeah. that we can learn to yeah. trust the other estates. Well, so part of the problem here is uh, I think I think the number is 92. It's 87 or 92% of journalists are Democrats. There you go. And, and so we've, you know, in a lot of ways, Christians have and, abandoned tr- right. journalism. Well, and a lot of it's bought and paid for. I mean, what John was just saying about, um, right. CNN or yeah. about CNN or about, or about um, the scientists that are yeah. that are 97% support climate change. Right. Republicans aren't any better, though. It's true. And, you know, I, I go through and I read yeah. numerous yeah. articles yeah. and watch yeah. all the videos. Yeah. And when I watch them, they don't. Just think about it like this. When you look on the news, look at just the basic news mm-hmm. reporting. Mm-hmm. Like, where is that? Just right. give me the stories that's happened. That doesn't exist. It's mainly on the local level if you find it, but it doesn't exist broadly, right? right. It's all opinion pieces. Everything's right. opinion. Yeah. And that's like, I just want the right. the facts of right. what happened right. 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 here in politics. This is – sorry, finish your no, thought. No, the other thing I want to say about the fourth estate is the fourth estate, which is the press, are a, a mediator between us and – politics Uh they go to meetings that we can't go i can't always go to my city council meeting i can't always go to watch cnn 24 7 but the press being there is saying hey this is what's going on over there and this is what you need to be paying attention to just so you know this is what happened so they're also a mediator between us when that all breaks down and they stop the guard dog doesn't bark Mm -hmm. (laughs) then anybody intruders can enter inside one of the things one of the things that's actually though at the same time encouraging about as messed up as the whole thing is um you know, on on the scene comes uh, smartphones and social media. Right. Yeah. And so the, it's alternative press. Alternative press. Gate, is exact, gatekeepers taking away the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers bit, though yeah. have lost their power. I mean, fifty yeah. years ago that was all you had. You, had you know, three networks and you know yep. whatever, and that was yep. all you had. Right. But now you got a smartphone and you can live stream. Yeah. Um, via Facebook, TikTok, right. whatever. Elijah Schaefer. That's and, how he and, got where he was. And there's plenty of that going on, which is part of the reason why there has been so much pushback and why these um, old legacy media outlets are. Uh, I mean, what what happened to CNN Plus? Yeah, they were grouping. Yeah, yeah. they're regrouping. <laughs> they still got seven hundred million dollars yeah. slated for that I project. Know, I know. Yeah, but it's it's old money, yeah. and nobody trusts them. Yeah. That's true. Well, I, 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 I do think there's a there's a coasting to a crash that's going to happen. Right. That's I right. do think over the just thinking in terms of like what we're doing across politics and kind of the business model that we've been thinking through. I do think there's going to be this uh, passing of the guard between old media and new media in the next twenty years. Right. 
Um, yeah. And I think old media is is bloated. I mean, they're paying you know Sean Hannity thirty million dollars a year. They're paying you know massive to, amounts to talk to, to Bruce Jenner. Talk to Bruce Jenner <laughs> seriously, really, in all these ways. Uh, and you, and Lord willing, over time, we'd like to build a network of journalists that right. are actually reporting. Right. Well, this is where the, again the commoners, where we spend our money at, yeah. and what yeah. we build yeah. is important. Whether yeah. or not we're yeah. going to have the fourth estate and, existing and pretty a, soon, and a love for the truth. That's it. Yeah. A love for the truth and a willing to risk. I mean, you think some of the old the old school. Um, investigative reporters. Yeah. Mm. I mean, those, you know, there's, there's like movies and, and, and stories yeah. about their willingness to just um, risk it all just to tell yeah. the story. Yeah. yeah. Because corrupt, powerful people didn't want the story to get That's out. Right. Yeah. Project Veritas, some of the heroes in this story. David yeah. Daladin, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, yeah. exposing Planned Parenthood, That's right. heroes in this story. Yeah. Um, but it takes that kind of courage, that kind of adventurous spirit and a love of the truth and be willing to say, look, I just want the truth out there. That's right. Um, and then, let let God sort it out. We're going to have to make those kind of people. Remember we were talking about... Hi, I'm Robert Borton, CEO of Classical Conversations, the world's largest classical Christian homeschooling community. I'm launching a new podcast, Refining Rhetoric. If you like cross-politics or just listen to hear what crazy stuff they're saying today, you will enjoy Refining Rhetoric. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform. I practice the 15 tools of learning by interviewing great guests, looking at current events and talking about cryptocurrency. Home, it's where you build your legacy, where traditions are started, seeds are planted, meals are shared and stories are told. We are Chris and Natalie Carpenter, owners of Story Real Estate, and our team of top agents helps people find homes in Moscow, Idaho and around the country. Have you thought about a move? Contact us to get connected with a top agent who shares your values and puts your family first or reach out to us about our Moscow Relocation Guide. Wherever you're looking to go, we can help you find home. Call us at Story Real Estate or visit us at storyrealestate.com and start building your legacy.